After a few months of complications, the Walthall family is finally off to explore the wild places of Montana. And their first stop is a high plateau south of Red Lodge on the edge of one million acres of wilderness. X Overland Solo Series is presented by General Tire and the Grabber X3, the official tire of the Walthall family adventure. Available at TireRack.com. And in association with Patriot Campers and PCOR Systems. All right, we're finishing up breakfast. We've got lunch all packed up and ready. And then we're gonna hit the trail. Right, looking through the regulations here, kids under 11 don't need fishing licenses. And for the areas that we are fishing, each of us can catch up to 30 fish and keep them. Now, there's no way we'd be able to eat 30 fish a piece. So I think we're gonna target one fish per person. Mm, we're gonna be earning our dinner tonight. You have bear spray. Garmin. Bear spray. Garmin. In reach for emergencies. Kai, are you ready yet? Yeah. Are you ready, Arya? Stella? Yeah. Yeah, so we're looking at two and a half miles, five miles round trip down to Snowbank Lake. Woohoo! Today, the Walthalls will head into a designated wilderness area. We are a couple hours in, probably have another 30, 45 minutes to go. Getting close. Brian's the only one that wore sandals today. We started out kind of chuckling at his choice, and now we're not. <laughs> the Wilderness Act of 1964 defines wilderness as an area where the earth and its community of life are untrammeled by man, where man himself is a visitor who does not remain. The Act's purpose is to preserve and protect the natural ecosystems and wild areas and also provide opportunities for solitude and retrospective or primitive recreation. Here at XO, we find these places incredibly valuable and they need to be protected. <laughs> oh, nice, nice work. That's another brook trout. Beautiful nice trout, work. Stella. Nice work. Just three casts in and the kids are already reeling in the brook trout. Nice work, Aria. Nice work. Nice job. All five of us have caught a fish. Uh huh. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, I think we just pack some snow in a bag, clean the fish here, pack some snow on top, bring them back. Let's go! I'm gonna go home. Just crossed our last creek, and now we go up the mountain. Missions as a family are slow and steady, but working as a team multiplies the success. Made it back to camp. That was a successful day, wow. Grilling station here for the fire roasters. We got the Weber cooked up over there. And then we've got some hash browns and bacon to go with it. So glad we made it though. Uh, thought we might get weather coming in as we normally do in the spring with about you know noon or two o'clock, some showers and thunderstorms rolling in, but luckily we didn't get it today. So we were able to fish all day and caught about nine fish, brought them home. We're gonna grill them up. Oh, living the dream out here. Good morning. Got a little bit colder last night, but I uh, got great sleep. Once the wind died down at probably midnight, uh, was able to sleep a lot better. I'm so thankful for a couple of beautiful days up here at 10,000 feet. It's pretty rare that you get this kind of weather back to back, but uh, we're gonna do coffee for sure. Definitely feeling it. Stretch out the back from yesterday and then pack up and head back down. Here comes the hairpin turn. These are the times where trusting your equipment is critical. One small failure can have catastrophic consequences. Oh, shoot. Oh, 
Feels so much better. That corner plagued me. Uh, had nightmares about it, just flying off the cliff. Not the brakes weren't working, and I just do. Uh, so it's really nice to get that behind me. Smooth sailing from here. So the hairpin turn is over. Yes, we got a long descent here, a few thousand feet. So instead of riding the brakes the whole way, have it in four low and sport shifting down to uh, you know third or second or first gear depending on how steep it is and uh, that just lets us kind of creep along here at a good pace and not wear out the brakes it's getting late and the walthalls hone in on a prospective campsite using the garmin overlander This one turns out to be incredibly scenic, and they have it all to themselves. I wish we could share how it smells out here. Mm fresh rain, and we've also got fresh bacon. Bacon rain. Making it rain bacon. <laughs> the storm should last 36 hours? Yeah, I just got an updated weather forecast on the inReach, and uh, it's going to rain all day today into tomorrow, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're all packed up. Looking ahead. Uh oh. Oh no. What does that say? Oh, uh, we got a dead battery. <sighs> well, fortunately, we do have a sweet power pack where we can jump ourselves. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll give that a shot. Should we try it, Aria? Yeah. When it rains, it pours, huh? When you plug it in, just attach it like a normal jumper cable. It automatically detects it. Okay, now should be able to jump it. This is making some really weird noises. Okay, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Okay, so. What's plan B? We walk? Plan B is use the accessory battery to jump this battery. WWCSD. What would Clan Shelly do? Quickly try this. So we need to go into town somewhere. Closest town is Billings. The gauge, you'll see the one on the left, is still flickering, which is interesting. Okay. Oh Whoa. my gosh. <gasps> Shoot. So the dash. Oh no. We, oh no. We might die here. There's just not enough battery power to even run the electronics. It keeps oh. draining. Um, so yeah, the engine just cut out for the first time. We're driving on the highway here. Um, I am gonna pull over, kill everything, including disconnecting the P-Core to just get everything to go to our battery if that has any effect at all. We've got 45 minutes until we reach a major city of Billings, which will have what we need, but I'm worried that we may not even make it. So I'm going to kill our fridge. I'm 
just gonna kill everything here. Hopefully killing that will free up the engine to keep running and at least get us into Billings. Oh boy. Hello. Mr. Croft, it is good to hear your voice. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> good to hear yours too. Yeah. New battery. And, and go from there and see what it does. Okay, sounds like a plan. Whew. Well, that's an eventful morning. Yeah. Yeah, and it's been raining all morning, too, so. <laughs> Had to pack oh, up. When it rains, it pours. It, it pours, oh. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Zing. Thanks, Clay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Billings. Now in Billings, Montana, Brian continues to troubleshoot at a battery store. Testing reveals proper amperage in the battery, adding to the mystery. Uh, I mean, we're dead in the water right now. We can't even start the truck. We're not going to go to remote places without a good battery. We got to we got to stop everything and get this fixed. Definitely feeling like at times like these, the desire to go home. However, this is actually our home. So we don't really have anywhere to go. So, all the more reason to get this thing fixed, buttoned up, and, you know, back on the road somewhere. When I first wiggled this, it was pretty tight. But now, I mean, I can pull that whole thing off. So, uh, that is a good place to start. Generally, what seem to be complex problems have simple solutions. We've all been there, but finding the simple solution usually takes a bit of trial and error. Do we dare try it? We dare try it. Yes. Positive vibes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> what did you We're do? Back in business. Was it the wrench? All of that to find out that the terminal was just barely loose. It was tight enough so that I couldn't turn it, but then if I, I finally was able to wiggle it free. Um, so I still don't know why, it just probably didn't have enough contact service surface to be able to get all of that current through that it needed to start. Yeah, undid it then pounded the terminal back on, made sure everything was super secure, squeezed it down, and it started right up. And uh, hopefully this is fixed. We all hope to avoid these kinds of days on the road, but don't give up when they come. Pushing through and problem solving together is what makes the trip a memorable one. Join us next time as the Walthall family hopes to reach a part of Montana few people explore, but is rich in hidden prehistoric treasure.